Diggity One, the Spider Man here. My great Australian accent, guys. <laughs> so, everyone, um, sorry I haven't done a video for about four days or so. I've just been spending time with my kids. But as you can see, my spray bottle's there. So, I've been going around my collection, filling up water dishes and spraying enclosures. So, this is just a general update to see how all my inverts are doing. So, let's get started. So guys, first up is my Therophosa apophysis, my Pinkfoot Goliath bird eater. And she's doing okay. Um, sprayed the enclosure, um, filled up the water dish just there. I was going to give her a feed, but uh, I used my last superworm yesterday. So I've got to get some more. But uh, yeah, she's doing okay. I'm still waiting for her to molt. It could take a couple of weeks. It could take six months. Who knows? You just have to keep... Uh, Checking on her abdomen, the bald spots going darker, but uh, not as dark as, as I want it to. But uh, yeah, she's doing okay. So guys, there is my mature male Embalfori. Still doing okay and still doing sperm webs. Um, I checked the female uh, earlier and she hasn't molted and she hasn't laid a sack. So I'll be putting him back in there this week. I've just got to uh, feed the female. Her abdomen's looking a little bit small. Personally, I thought she was going to molt, but she hasn't. And you can see her sperm web just below his legs. But yeah, he's doing okay. And stay tuned for this pairing again. And I'll be pairing up my Sopopius Amernias as well. So everyone, talking about my Sopopius Amernia, my Venezuelan sun tiger. And there she is, just took the lid off her enclosure. And she's decided to come out of her court bark. And she's looking absolutely fantastic now. Looking absolutely huge. Got to be around about the 5 inch in leg span. I gave her a superworm about 2 days ago. So I'll be feeding her again before I introduce the male. So yeah, like I said earlier, please stay tuned for that pairing of my male and female Sopopia Samernia. So guys, I thought I'd do a quick update on the beast, my very unusual Manticora tiger beetle. Um, sprayed his enclosure a little bit earlier, filled up the water dish and he went straight to the water dish and started drinking. Uh, I tried to give him a feed a couple of days ago, he wasn't really interested, started uh, shaking his booty and uh, I don't know why he does that, I think it's some kind of defence mechanism, I don't know why he does it, but um, yeah, he's doing perfectly fine. So next up, guys, is my huge scorpion collection. I have about 20 scorpions, and I filled up the water dishes yesterday and must have fed around about eight scorpions yesterday. And my male, Parabuthus velocus orange morph, is uh, waving his claws. So let's... Uh... Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> He's doing okay. And there's one water dish I haven't filled up, so let's just lift that lid up and fill the water dish and there we go so yeah they're all doing okay and feeding perfectly fine so i might get another scorpion soon i'm not too sure which one to get so as you can see i've got a little bit of room on the top sh shelf there for a couple more so guys if you look at my collection from a distance you'll notice I haven't got no room whatsoever. All my shelving is absolutely chock-a-block. And these four enclosures here, one, two, three, and four, all them are all females and they're all going to get bigger. So I'm just wondering where am I going to put them? So on the top shelf here, we have my Brachypalma Amelia. She's only a three-inch leg span. She's going to obtain around about the six to a seven-inch leg span when she's fully grown. Same with my Grandma Solar Pulchra. She's going to get to around about 6 to a 7 inch in leg span. Uh, next up is my Green Bottle Blue. Um, she's only around about a 4 inch leg span. She's going to get to 6 to a 7 inch leg span. And last but not least is my Lassadoria Parahibana. And she's only around about a 3.5 inch in leg span. And she can easily obtain a 10 to 11 inch in leg span. So like I said earlier, where am I going to put them? So guys, last but not least, I thought I'd show you my Egyptian predatory beetle, my Anetha sex maculata. I haven't shown you my beetle for a while. And uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, 
You all know I used to have two of these, but unfortunately the other one passed away. I'm not too sure if this one is a male or female. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's doing absolutely fantastic. And I filled the water dish up a little bit earlier. And I've put all this stone slate in to make it look as natural as possible. And it does hide under them stone slates, which is uh, very nice to see. But yeah, unfortunately I can't feed any of my inverts tonight because I haven't got no food left. So I've got to get some more food from my local pet shop. And my red runners, my cockroaches, have all sadly passed away, I'm afraid. Um, I've got a load of Uthikas ready to hatch. So once I hatch, hopefully my colony will um, get bigger. So I hope you enjoyed this update, everybody. And thanks for watching, everyone.